So I, uh, I don't have, by the way, welcome to the video everybody, I'm Matt. Welcome to Nine Mills on Two Wheels. And I don't have a subject, so you get another one of them neat towns. I am in Heiko, Texas. Heiko! Population 1,343. But uh, you probably seen from the, uh, that's a pretty neat mural. Probably seen from the um, thumbnail that the reason I'm here. Look at there. Look at that statue. Heiko is a really, really neat town. It's, uh, I didn't look and see how many miles it's out of uh, Waco, but it's west of Waco. Uh, and it's a neat little kind of western kind of town with a unique uh, claim. And that is Billy the Kid. Now, first off, Jersey Lily's right there, that restaurant. Great place to eat. I've ate there several times. Love that place. Really good place. I ain't eating there today, though. But you get the chance, if you come to Heiko, H-I-C-O, Texas, besides all the, the neat stuff in this town and the old west kind of feel, not the old west, but, you know, old times, uh, which I'll explain here in a little bit. Now, they done took the big thing down. Let's start out with a little bit of history right after this. Now, the neat thing about this town, like I said, is uh, the claim of Billy the Kid. And if you look at all these old kind of uh, buildings in here and everything else, uh, it's really, really kind of neat. But the thing, uh, if you watch Young Guns 2, the movie Young Guns 2, and uh, check that movie out. If you haven't, you need to watch it. Well, Young Guns also the first one. But a man named Brushy Bill Roberts uh, once claimed that he was actually Billy the Kid that lived here in Heiko, Texas. If you watch Young Guns 2 to the end, it didn't happen the way it happened in Young Guns 2. He didn't come walking out of the desert and met up with an attorney. Actually, an investigator was looking into someone claiming that they were Jesse James in Lawton, Oklahoma. Hey, Paul. Paul M. Lawton, Oklahoma. And uh, what he did was um, got a hold of this guy who did not end up being Jesse James, but he, uh, I'm just going to circle around here, guys, and I'm going to go down the street, too. He, uh, there's a museum here, guys. You get the chance to come check out this museum, too, because uh, a lot of interesting stuff in there. If you donate a little bit of money, you can go check out all the stuff. Matter of fact, the last time me and, uh, uh, my motorbike Mike was here. The museum told us that um, Emilio Estevez was in there just a week prior. Spent like you know a bunch of hours in there. Well, spent most of the day in there researching for Young Guns Three, doing research for Young Guns Three. I don't know whatever came of it, but a uh, pretty neat town if you get the chance. There are some old buildings like this. There's another one out there. I'll go by it and show it to you here in a minute. But all kind of just uh, old time feel. And uh, really, really, really neat town if you ever get the chance to visit. It's uh, really something else. And I'll show you some other things too here. There it is. Right there, on the, I'll pass it on the, on the left here. Right here on the left is an old original, one of the old original buildings here. And I don't know what they use it for. But they use it for uh, other things now. It used to be like a doctor's office or something. So, neat town if you ever get a chance. So like I say, in this uh, investigator, I'm going by memory because I left my notes at home, guys. Uh, looked in the Jesse James, and the guy that was pretending to be Jesse James, or claiming to be Jesse James, was, uh, I'm going to park right here to hell with everybody, was um, told him, that he knew Billy the Kid and that Billy the Kid was alive and well in Hamilton, Texas. Now, this investigator uh, 
came to Hamilton, Texas, which is about 20 miles up the road. We're going to go that way because I'm going to show you something a little bit here. Uh, came here to, you know, investigate if Je uh, uh, Jesse James, oh, Jesse James, <laughs> Billy the Kid was alive. So Brushy Bill Roberts is who he found. All right, Brushy Bill Roberts lives, lived here in Heiko, wasn't in Hamilton. Claimed to be Bill the Kid. So uh, uh, the investigator brought handcuffs because Billy Kid was known for slipping handcuffs off his hands because he had small hands and big wrists, and he'd done that. He also pointed out scars uh, that uh, uh, he had that Billy Kid was known to have, that kind of thing. And he asked to be pardoned. I think he was in his 90s. He asked to be pardoned. Uh, he wanted the pardon that he was promised way back during the Lincoln County Wars, and uh, and that's what he wanted. Uh, originally, he told the uh, investigator that uh, he was Billy the Kid's brother, but the investigator didn't fall for that, and told him that Billy the Kid was alive and well in Mexico. Uh, so what he was saying, once he you know divulged that he was actually Billy the Kid, um, there was a kid that looked like Billy the Kid in New Mexico who had been shot like three times and arrested like six times. And uh, he uh, said that, uh, that um, Pat Garrett didn't shoot him, that he shot this kid, actually. It was a, it was a trick by him and Pat Garrett to get everybody off of uh, his back kind of thing. That's one thing I read. So the investigator done the, the handcuff thing and he pointed out scars. So they uh, this made arrangements to go to New Mexico to find out, you know, to try to get uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, to try to get the then governor to give Brushy Bill Roberts, a.k.a. Billy the Kid, a pardon. And the governor at that time said, no, nah, I don't believe it. It ain't happening. Plus, Billy the Kid is a huge, huge revenue in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, is a big tourist attraction, huge revenue. If they were to lose that, then you know, you're gonna lose. So they flat out just wouldn't go with it. So on the third day of returning back here to Heiko, Brushy Bill Roberts passed away. And it was never known. Back then, you're talking in the 40s, no DNA, nothing like that. Went with it with that. And this town claimed to have Billy the Kid for the longest time. And it would go back and forth. Uh, all kind of stuff. 60 Minutes done a special on it at one point. I know that. So, advance forward a little year, DNA came around and they said, hey, Heiko did to uh, Fort Sumner, hey, b dig up Billy the Kid's mother. They knew where Billy the Kid's mother was uh, buried. They said, exhume Billy the Kid's mother and we'll do a DNA test on her and Brushy Bill Roberts, see if this is actually, you know, Billy the Kid. And overnight, somebody had to be in the city kind of thing, of Fort Sumner, exhumed Billy the Kid's mother, and then they moved the grave into an unmarked spot. And then, uh, so nobody knows where the grave was moved to. Also, where they presume Billy the Kid it's marked there in Fort Sumner with a, with a grave deal. Billy the Kid's grave site uh, might not even have his body there, might not have his remains there, because Billy the Kid, right after he was shot by Pat Garrett, supposedly was buried so fast that nobody marked the grave. So they just put a marker there. So most likely, Billy the Kid's remains are not at that marker in Fort Sumner. So that was out too, so they're trying to come up all this. And like I said, Fort Sumner, New Mexico was having, you know, issues with uh, not wanting to cooperate. They don't want to lose that tourism stuff. So I'm going to show you something else before we get going here. So also here in, in Heiko, Texas is the world's largest spur. Look at there. That's a giant damn spur right there. I don't know whose boot that would fit on, but uh, supposedly that's the world's largest spur. <laughs> you can see that in Heiko also. So, like I said, the uh, Billy the, or Brushy Bill Roberts passed away, and uh, all that you couldn't do, they wouldn't cooperate, so no DNA was ever done. Uh, Heiko still claims that Billy the Kid was here and that Brushy Bill Roberts was Billy the Kid. But let's, the last thing that was done was there was a photo of uh, 
brush it back. Like I said, nothing else was done. So now advance up uh, in, in computer ages and stuff, and they come up with a, a good idea. There, there's computers that can, with software to recognize photos. So they had a photo of Brushy Bill Roberts when he was 14, supposedly, and when he was 71. Of course, you got photo of Billy the Kid in his 20s. So they did one computer that couldn't recognize images or uh, uh, directions and stuff. And it said it was a, uh, it compared the photos of Brushy Bill Roberts to Billy the Kid and it didn't, it, it was on, it said it was like a, like a 6% chance that, that, you know, it was a match. But that, like I said, that computer didn't, back then didn't recognize angles. That's what it was. And then it's forward a little bit and they got another, two computers and uh, they took the photo of a uh, 14-year-old brushy Bill Roberts and compared it to 20-something-year-old Billy the Kid with this new computer that does, that recognizes angles and stuff and could correct them and stuff because of different angles. And it said it was a match. The 14-year-old picture of brushy Bill Roberts, at 14, I mean, it said that he, it was a match, all right? And then they put the, uh, uh, the picture of uh, brushy Bill Roberts at age 71 and compared it to the ones of Billy the Kid uh, when he's in his 20s, the same ones. And the computer said, that it was a 93% chance that they were the same person in the pictures. When Brushy Bill Roberts passed away, hey, y'all be sure to come visit uh, the museum here on Main Street. It's pretty cool. Man, this is, this is so neat. I love this town. And I'm only about two, two and a half hours away from here. So we are uh, about an hour and 500, oh, an hour. <laughs> So we are 105 miles west of Waco on Highway 6. That is where we are. Mm -mm. So yeah, uh, when Brushy Bill died, the medical examiner examined his body, obviously. He died of a massive heart attack at age 90 something, supposedly. But the medical, actually it's probably the, the doctor back then, it wasn't probably a medical examiner because this was in the 40s. Uh, stated that during the exam he noted 23, if I remember correctly, 23 bullet and knife wounds on Brushy Bill Roberts' body. 23 bullet and knife wounds. Consistent, consistent with the wounds that uh, uh, Billy the Kid had suffered over the years. 23, can you imagine that? So, if you take US 81 south, like I am, out of Heiko, I'll show you something towards Hamilton. Now, if you want to do, people say Texas is too flat, FM 1602 right there. You go north or south of 281, if you take FM 1682, if you like riding, it does this and this. It's a great road to ride. That will be in a future video. And if you want some good view ropes of some pretty neat big ranches, definitely take FM 1602 from here to uh, Highway 36. It is pretty damn good. That'll be in a future video. Actually, it's in Hamilton. It'd be the second entrance. You gotta watch people here, folks, because they will run your ass over. Because it is two lanes. I'm gonna cut across here. Ooh, that was a mistake. Almost. It is a little rough, but I'm gonna show you something neat here. Looky right here. Billy the Kid, William Henry Roberts, AKA Billy the Kid. Huh. So that's where Brushy Bill Roberts was, is buried. And uh, 
They still claim to this day that it was Billy the Kid. If you come here and check this out, uh, you can get right up to it. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna make take a few pictures with the the bike and stuff, and me in a little bit. But uh, people have brought stuff here. There's you know money. There's bullets. Uh, some kind of little book. Dip cans. Uh, dice. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Is that a uh, whose poker chip is that on there? I wonder. Let's see here. Is that who I think it is? Yes, that is Motorbike Mike. <laughs> I have one on here too, somewhere. And apparently, somebody liked it. So we we'll walk around back. There's a pair of boots, or not a pair, a boot, and. Uh, you know, cowboy stuff, man. But here is the grave of Brushy Bill Roberts, a.k.a. William H. Or William Hent, or was it? Uh, yeah, William Bonnie, uh, William Henry Roberts, uh, Billy the Kid. And uh, there you go, guys. Did you get the chance. This is actually in Hamilton, just as you come into Hamilton. And watch it, like I said, when you're turning in here, because people will run your ass over. But uh, I'm going to put my poker chip back on here. Because mine's gone. I put it on the opposite side of uh, one of my bikes. I put a few in there. Just to make sure. Nobody borrows anymore. <laughs> there we go. But kind of neat. Uh, to this day, still don't know if Brushy Bill Roberts, of course the photos, the computers with the photos say it was, uh, that Brushy Bill Roberts was Billy the Kid. So, till there's DNA done, till they find uh, his mother's gravesite in Fort Sumner, uh, New Mexico, we'll never know. Do me a favor and, and click on the, uh, the show more part of the description down there you'll find links to like uh, Forgotten Angels Facebook page and to their website you'll find uh, a link to a raffle make a difference in a uh, young person's life give them a leg up that they've never had and you could win a house the grand prize is a house I mean holy cow a house yeah, or two hundred fifty thousand dollars your choice $250,000 sure would make my day, that's for sure. That is for sure. Uh, you can also win a motorcycle. Every two weeks, they're giving away a motorcycle. Check out the links to Shade Street Sur Surgeon's channel, Shay Lisi, Spites Corner. There'll be information uh, about the uh, latest raffle. Let's go this way. Down there and there, in that. All right. Oh, okay, I know where I'm at. <laughs> Man, some of this stuff is old and neat, man. It is so cool over there. But if you can, get your raffle ticket or more. It would help. It's greatly appreciated. And if you can't, share the link to the raffle on your social media. That'll help, too. That helps greatly. But uh, definitely uh, try to help out if you can. Like I said, if you can't share, share the link, man. Share the dang link. Also, I have started a Patreon. If you can, for only a dollar a month, for one dollar, as low as one dollar. I have three levels. I have a pistol, I have rifle, and I have bazooka. If you would, consider joining my Patreon. It helps me do things like this. Because as you know, gas is not inexpensive. And, uh, and equipment ain't cheap either, all the cameras and all that stuff. So if you would help me out with that by joining my Patreon, you will get your name at the end of my videos. That's all I got for that now. But please consider doing that. So be sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it don't cost you a thing. 
And uh, like I said, from nine to nine, I do things like this. Silver spur, huh? Whiskey. Ah. But, uh, and if you come to Heiko, Texas, check out all this stuff. It's really, really neat. Do your research. Watch uh, Young Guns 2. You should watch Young Gun and Young Guns 2. And, uh, hey, it might have been Billy the Kid the whole time, right here. How cool is that? Y'all know how it goes. If you served or if you're currently serving in a military, if you're a firefighter, EMS, first responder, especially law enforcement, if you're in the healthcare industry, putting yourself at risk, if you're a truck driver out there delivering the goods so we can have a good life, if you vote and stand up for your rights, participate in government activities and stuff like that, you're awesome. We appreciate everything you do and the sacrifices you and your families have made. Ladies, flash a stranger today. Boom. And visit the Billy the Kid Museum and gift shop in Heiko.